Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk everything spooky. And today will be a spooky double book review of some Darcy Coates books. I have The Haunting of Lee Harker and The Haunting of Rookward House. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. So the first book we're going to get into is The Haunting of Lee Harker. A little bit about the plot of this book, Lee's life is going comfortably mundane, everything is great until she notices an intruder in her home, and then her life becomes a living nightmare. When she discovers that the intruder could be connected to a locked mysterious door that she is unable to open, things ensue from there. My thoughts on this one, The Haunting of Lee Harker, um, it's definitely not your average Darcy Coates read. I find that most of her work follows the same progression. This is actually in reverse. The second you open this book, you were thrown into a ghost story, and I loved that. It wasn't until I hit the last third of the book when the twist was revealed that I started to think okay this is a little far-fetched but let's stick with it and then the ending and the twist they were good but there was such an unrealistic like there is supposed to be a bit of suspension of disbelief and horror but there needs to also be a little bit of realism to spook me at least and in this book, the twist had a very major unrealistic aspect. And it ruined the book for me. I'm so sorry, Darcy, but this one was, it was not for me. It was, it was a good character. Lee's great. The spooky atmosphere and ghost activity was really good, really spooky. It was all just the twist. It was not for me. I feel like it's been done in movies way too many times. I don't want to say too much more because it'll give away the twist, you know? So all in all, this wasn't for me. However, I love Darcy Coates. I have a bunch of her books. This is the first one that I've read that I was like, not for me. But I'm going to give it another try near Halloween when I watch the movie that this reminds me of. So all in all, I am rating The Haunting of Lee Harker, two tales out of five. The next book by Darcy Coates that I'm going to be talking about is The Haunting of Rookward House. A little bit about the plot of this, there is a mother and son guy and they're cleaning out their attic and they he finds a deed to a house that his mother inherited so he goes to this house he sees potential for financial gain if he goes and fixes it up for a week or two and that's what guy decides to do but then he realizes he's not alone in this house and this house doesn't give it takes now the haunting of rookward house is more a traditional Darcy Coates ghost story. I loved this one. This book was great. Um, the character guy, the main character, is an amazing character. I love the development. First off, he's got his own issues, especially with his anger. He's dealing with self-loathing and regret and it was just so palatable and you felt for this guy. So you wanted him, despite his faults, to make it out of this house. So I really loved Guy. I loved the characters. The ghostly specter, Amy. Holy moly. Talk about a terrifying ghost. Like, <laughs> I don't think I would have stayed more than five minutes in this house personally after what Guy goes through. I'm also renovating my own home that was built in 190 something and I gotta say renovating old homes has 
always given me the vibes of spooks. So I read this and then I started thinking like, oh great, I'm renovating a house. I wonder what I'm going to dredge up. <laughs> anyway, uh, beyond that, um, the premise of this book is traditional. It's a traditional ghost story, but I loved it. It's a little simplistic in its development and how things progress, but it had such a good nail-biting ending. I loved it. It was so good. I loved the specter's abilities. I loved her method of attacks. I loved the multiple POVs in here, how you get flashbacks via Guy's Nightmares. Loved it. Loved this book, The Haunting of Rickward House. It was great, a little predictable, a little bit, I don't want to say generic, but it is a traditional ghost story, but I like a traditional ghost story myself. It was a perfect read for me where I'm at, and I'm writing this five tales out of five. I loved it. It was great, Darcy Coates. I really did love The Haunting of Rickward House. It was great. So if you're looking for a spooky, ghostly story, look no further than Darcy Coates. She will not disappoint. So though that's my thoughts on these two Darcy Coates books, The Haunting of Rookward House and The Haunting of Lee Harker. If you're looking for a ghostly read, Darcy Coates cannot steer you wrong. Just be mindful of the plots. Some of them are really traditional ghost stories and other ones like Haunting of Lee Harker like to take a different approach. So there's a little bit of something for everyone with Darcy Coates, I feel. So again, if you're looking for a spooky ghostly read, look no further than Darcy Coates. I highly recommend. Birds. <laughs> well, critters, that's all from this Den of Rights. I love and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much for being here. Thank you for watching and being here with me today. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness to me. It really does, critters. I love you. So until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.